Hey, this is Mrs. Elfrog. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. This is an introduction to a series I'm going to call The Narcissistic Pastor. The reason I'm doing a series on the narcissistic pastor is because it seems like it's the narcissistic pastor that is doing the most damage to the church as we know it today. All those big name televangelists and all those storefront shops who are trying to do the exact same thing. I am following the form of um, Paul Harrison. Can't remember his numbers after there, but Paul Harrison and Not Your Typical Negro. Um, I like the way that they do that. They present information. They put it out there for everybody to see and comment on. And so I'm going to follow their same form. And um, anyway, the reason that I'm talking about the narcissistic pastor, and I've taken this up as my cause, is because I left a um, toxic faith situation where we were spiritually abused, and once we had left, um, we were, you know, ridiculed, threatened, called nasty names, and um, when uh, we tried to expose these things, we were, you know, physically and violently threatened. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to be stating, you know, our names or what church we came from, what cult we left. So um, this is my introduction. I am going to go through a list that I found that are characteristic traits of typical narcissists and the narcissist in the pulpit. Um, I'm going to draw from my own personal experience to um, expound on some of these ideas and I'm also going to probably be drawing on some of the personal experiences of friends of mine who've also left the same situation. Um, I, can, I come from a family where um, there was a um, a pastor in the family who uh, seemed to like to follow the cult model um, you know one charismatic leader so much as that um, you know he's even gone into the uh, multi-level marketing cult setups like Amway and some of the others so uh, it's something I've seen most of my life um, something that I think now that I'm coming out of it and see it for what it really is I have a good understanding of and it's also something that's not very well tackled um, I'm going to include some links on the side of this page to Peaceful Raven. Um, he's got a great little tidbit on what spiritual abuse is um, and what some of the uh, characteristics are. He's also done a great book. It's called um, Something Rotten on Azusa Street. You should check it out on Lulu. And check out Not Your Typical Negro and Paul Harrison. Paul Harrison has a great series on... Um, just this whole charismatic movement really and some of its roots and I am just going to be tackling uh, what I see as the biggest character trait of the people who are you know really dragging down the people of God this day so I hope you enjoy it please turn in for tune in for my next installment <coughs> This is Mr. L. Frog, and I'm here to talk about the narcissistic pastor. I will be drawing on my experiences and the experiences of others and some research that I've done um, in the past concerning a narcissistic uh, personality disorder. Um, but in this particular case, we're going to be looking at the narcissistic pastor disorder, which is a lot worse. Um, blah, 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 some stuff, and there's even medical doctors that talk about things, too. You better watch out. You better not pout. Um, yeah, so don't do it. 